First at five, the Target 12 investigators are working new details on an FBI dig in Providence. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. As we first reported yesterday, FBI agents exhumed a body from the North Burial Ground. We're now learning the investigation is part of an unsolved homicide in a local town. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. We've learned the FBI is working with the Smithfield Police Department in an unsolved murder from three decades ago. The hope is DNA and other evidence will help identify the victim. On Tuesday, members of the FBI's evidence response team descended on North Burial Ground in Providence, exhuming the body of a man who was murdered more than 30 years ago, a cold case that Smithfield police are trying to solve with the help of DNA technology. A spokesperson for the FBI confirmed an ongoing investigation, but declined to provide more details. The section of the cemetery the FBI was digging in right here is known as the Potter's Field section of North Burial Ground. It's an area littered with dozens of small gravestones marked not with names, but numbers. The patch of grass turned dirt was marked with grave 6548. Public records show the grave is listed to an unknown male who was interred in 1992, but that does not mean that was the year the person was killed. Potter's Field, which sits in the shadow of I-95, was created in 1960. The space used for free burials, the last one took place in 2013. The evidence response team is a specially trained FBI unit made up of agents, forensic analysts, and consultants with different areas of expertise. They investigate federal crimes and assist state and local police departments with preserving crime scenes and collecting evidence. Smithfield officers were at the scene on Tuesday with the FBI. I talked to the police chief in Smithfield who declined to comment on the investigation. New at six, the specialized FBI crime scene unit was also used in a high profile mob cold case that ultimately solved a gangland slaying. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. The Target 12 investigators are working new details on an FBI dig in Providence. As we first told you at five, FBI agents exhumed a body from the North Burial Ground yesterday, trying to identify a murder victim from a three decade old cold case in Smithfield. New at six, how the specialized FBI unit was used to solve an unsolved gangland slaying that led to the downfall of a former mob boss. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. Grave marker 6548 is all that identifies the remains of a man who was killed 30 years ago. Now a special FBI forensics team has been brought in to try and solve the mystery. Sitting in the shadow of I-95, a tucked away section of North Burial Ground in Providence. Fresh dirt marking the location. Investigators from the FBI's evidence response team exhumed a body on Tuesday. Target 12 has learned the FBI is working with the Smithfield Police Department with identifying the remains from a cold case homicide more than 30 years ago. It was the same specialized crime scene investigative group that helped solve another decades old murder, the 1993 killing of Boston nightclub owner and Providence native Stephen DeSaro. DeSaro's body was discovered buried deep behind a Branch Avenue mill building in 2016. The discovery triggered a chain of events that ultimately led to the federal conviction of former New England mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi. He was sentenced to life in prison for DeSaro's murder. But unlike the DeSaro case, the dig in Providence Tuesday is for the remains of a man whose identity is unknown. The area the FBI was digging in right here at the cemetery is known as the Potter's Field section of North Burial Ground. It's an area littered with dozens of small gravestones marked not with names, but numbers. Potter's Field was created in 1960. The space used for free burials. The last one took place in 2013. Smithfield's police chief declined to comment on the investigation. In the DeSaro case, Salemi, who is now 89 years old, lost his appeal seeking a new trial. He's at a federal prison in Missouri. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.